Hello! In this video lesson, you will learn about another way of toning in 3D LUT Creator. I'll start with the toning based on the gradient map adjustment layer in Photoshop, and then we will move on to what cannot be done in Photoshop. First, you need to make a black and white version of the image. For example, in the channel mixer, you can make an identical formulation for all three channels. I take the green channel as a basis. In the red channel will be 0% of the red, 100% of the green, and 0% of the blue. I'll make the same formulation for the blue channel. We get a black and white image now. You can select all points and move them to give different contrasts for the different colors to your taste. Then we paint the black and white version using RGB curves. For example, I make the same gradient as Photoshop. The lights will be orange, and the shadows will be blue. The resulting two-color image we blend to the original in the soft light mode. You can do it in 3D LUT Creator in the Masters section in the Blend Modes drop-down list. I choose Soft Light. Here is what we have. I add blue to the shadows and orange to the lights. This you can easily do in Photoshop. Here is the before and after. As you can see, we increase the contrast as we blend the image to itself in soft light mode. Let's start with what is not easy to do in Photoshop. If I do not need contrast enhancement, then I can use the luminance slider and change the brightness effect. I can reduce luminance and apply only the color without changing the brightness. Photoshop does not allow you to combine soft light and color blend modes. You have to create a copy of the entire image, which means that all the changes that were in the layers below will no longer be visible. This is not good. It is much more convenient when retouching and color correction are independent. Because looking at the picture with fresh eyes the next day, you may want to redo the color correction. The retouching that was done after the color correction will be lost. I always keep my color correction at adjustment layers. If something needs to be changed, I can cancel color correction and redo it, and I save my retouching at the same time. So our toning is based on the fact that we blend the original image, this one, to the painted copy, this one, in soft light mode. But until now, the thing that remained the same in this method is that coloring was based on the luminance component so we paint the shadows to one color and lights to another. This is how gradient map works in Photoshop. What if we try to paint the picture based on its color warmth? We can use the mask section to do this. As you know, the mask is just another monochrome image. Let's turn everything off and leave only the mask preview. 3D LUT Creator allows you to build a mask based on R, G, and B channels, C, M, Y, K channels the channel's hue, saturation, warmth, color differences, and other parameters. I mentioned color warmth before, so I choose warmth mask mode and here is our mask. Cool colors in the original image become darker and warm colors in the original image become lighter. In the mask section, there is a curve that allows you to adjust the mask. For example, I can include skin tone to the mask by making it uniformly white. And now, we need to paint the mask and apply it to the original image in soft light. As you may understand, it won't actually be the mask. It will be some new channel, which will be calculated on the basis of the original color. So we need to rearrange the mask to the beginning of the color correction pipeline. To do this, I choose Two Image Input in the Mask Destination drop-down list. Now I can turn off the preview. The entire processing workflow begins with the fact that the original image is calculated based on its warmth. Then I can use any tool in order to modify it. For example, I can adjust the white balance or bend the color grid but I will use the curves as we work by analogy with the gradient map. I turn them on. All that is white on the mask is painted to orange. 
the blacks become blue. But now the image grading is based on its warmth. Let's compare. Here is a look based on the brightness. And this one is based on the image warmth. As you can see, the orange color is applied to the skin. Regardless of whether it is light or dark, a blue color is applied to the cold objects on the whole image and not just in the shadows. Now I turn on soft light mode and get this look. This is before and that is the after. As you can see, the image becomes more colorful and the depth of the image is increased. The brightness changes again. In this case, the shadows get brighter. To fix it, I move the luminance slider to the left, which reduces the effect on the brightness. I also can reduce the overall effect of the LUT and make it not so obvious. You can also adjust the contrast of the original warmth channel. For example, you can increase the amount of blue or decrease the blending of orange to the warm areas. That is before and here is the after. Now the skin seems too yellow. It is possible to adjust the skin tone with the curves by reducing the green component. You can change the shade of blue by making it greener. And you can decrease orange by moving down the top point on the mask curve. You could even slightly increase the overall effect. So here is the before image and there is the after. To the original image, this one, we blend this colored version. That is, the orange color applies to the skin and the blue color applies to the rest. By the way, applying the orange to the skin in soft light mode reduces its color variety, which allows you to hide some skin problems. So you can save your time on retouching by using such grading methods. The image has become much more interesting. Let's try to apply this grading to the other images. That is before and here is the after. Let's see how the colors are distributed here. The curve can be shifted to increase the amount of blue. You can also slightly change the toning color so that it better fits to what we have on the image. Here is the before and that is the after. If the effect is too strong, it is always possible to reduce it. That's all. If you liked this lesson, put likes and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.